So imagine you're driving your Tesla in rush hour traffic. This is what it will look like. Right now it's around 5 p.m. and everyone is driving home right now. And even though it doesn't seem like it, there is quite a lot to deal with, especially up here. There's a lane that merges from my right and my Tesla is completely driving itself. You can see the car is right up there on the hill. Let's see how this works. Right now, the steering and the accelerating, the braking, it's all happening for me. So my Tesla is gonna have to adjust if anybody emerges into my lane. So I'm not gonna do anything. We're gonna put the Tesla to the test. I do have to apply slight turning force just like that. Uh, that's a normal message in basic autopilot. Here's someone merging over, watch my speed. We drop speed a little bit to allow for a safe distance. Now, if I wanna have a closer following distance, this is the key. Actually, when you're driving autopilot, all you have to do is monitor the road, but they make it easy if you wanna change your speed. I simply go up on the scroll wheel to change my speed up there, or left and right, you can see right there, to change my following distance. Now, watch my car close in on the car in front of me as I lowered that following distance. See, we're getting closer and closer. Car just pulled out, merged, I should say, and my Tesla is now taking the most aggressive, if you will, following distance. It's a setting that you choose in the Tesla, but it's never going to get closer than that. If a car cuts you off per se, then it's gonna slow down to make up for that change. It's really that simple, and you can even see, this is a good example, going around a turn. Now we're in all the traffic. See all this rush hour traffic over here? A perfect example of autopilot working.